All right, welcome back to the Comedy Hype News Show. Right after Father's Day, Russell Simmons shared a message to his Instagram story that read, stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and start asking mothers why they had to fight at all. In response to this, Kamara Lee Simmons, his ex-wife with whom he shares two children with, wrote, I'm so sorry to have to do this, but this man has been threatening my kids' lives. I'm hearing so much more now. We won't be bullied, threatened, or afraid. Leave my kids alone. This narrative of attacking the only caregiver, the only parent in the home with the kids, the mom, and the kids for one's own shortcoming and embarrassments is dead, dead, dead. Now, I know we talked about this a little bit. Russell, who has been accused of sexual misconduct by multiple women, all of which he's denied, will respond to Kamora's post by creating one of his own, assuring both of his daughters he still loves them. Let's take a look at this clip. Baby, they already know. They known your peoples long before you did, baby. You just got here. You 20. They are damn near 70 years old. Leave us the fook alone. That's all that we ask. Stop threatening my kids. Stop harassing us. Stop lying. Stop posting these things on your story like we're friends. Stop telling the world you're so rich when we know you not. Tell the truth. Okay, if you want to be a yogi, like really live that in your heart. I used to always, always say, if you were a fraction of the dad or a fraction of the person that the world thinks you are, things would be so different at home. Now, there will be a lot of back and forth online between Kamara and her daughters with Russell. And Russell will actually respond by saying, I love you guys more than I love myself. Um, Capone, I'm actually going to start with you. I know we've talked about family feudings before. You've been very, you know, vocal and vulnerable in your experience. Seeing this back and forth go online, what, what's your reaction to it? I hate it. I hate it because, uh, you know, she, she made a statement, a strong statement. The money ran out. The money ain't what it used to be. Things didn't went for a turn. When you were young and you had nothing, this man created everything in the world for you. Okay, time changes, you do bad, or whatever the situation is. Conversations can be had. There are things that are way, way different than can be handled on social media. To me right now, I mean, you have another husband who is a celebrity husband that you have another child by. Why are you not bringing him up? Why is he not part of this? Thing because he doesn't, y'all not together either. It's just the thing where, you know, it, it, it's sad to say, in, in this case that I see another mother turning the children against the father. I'm not going to sit here and say Russell's no angel. Um, he created a lot of different things for people, but you know, when you can't do for people, they sure damn sure show that they will not do for you. Pierre, let me come to you, but I, I want to add some more. So uh, I want to read the, the full um, context of what uh, I was about to say, Uncle Rush, <laughs> what Ruckle, Russell Damn. had to say. I know, because his, his Instagram says Uncle Rush. I, sorry, L let me read this. F focus, Pierre, let me focus. He said, God is testing you a little bit. It's okay, be strong. They are called growing pains. As you know, we go through adversity and struggle. You were for forced to read my books and hear me preach your whole childhood. Reach back, remember to remember, smile and breathe, smile and breathe. You are the watchers of this world, so let go, be at ease. God is driving and he is working on you. No conditions, for sure. I love you guys more than I love myself. Pierre, I know we talked about family feudings online. What's your reaction to this one? Like Capone said, it's sad. Um, it's just... Uh... You know, one, one thing I've, I've noticed I kept hearing is when she kept saying, my kids, my kids, my kids, they are his kids, too. So, you know, she's mentally really divided him on a whole nother island like he went up, whatever island he went to. He's really away from them. She feels that way. But it's sad because now we as the public get to put our two cents in it. That could be totally wrong and move stuff around. These are human beings that are, are, are going to be affected, especially children. And there's going to be things said. Yes, he's 20 years old. The girl's 20 years old. Whatever, but it's still... You know, we're human beings, you know, people in here who want to just act like this, that, or the other, you know, we all have feelings. And when you put the, you, when you display that in the public, you know, it gets so visceral back and forth. One side could have maybe not even said something, just say, you know what, I'm going to keep it, you know, when you ignore certain things, certain things go away a lot, you know, most of the time. But when you add fire, fire to the fuel, it becomes what it becomes. 
I've known Russell for years, you know, I don't know him intimately, like hanging around him all the time, but I've been around him in social circles and met him, um, you know, from what I know on the outside, but I can't judge him like that from what she's going through because she had an intimate relationship with him and she knows it better than we know, know him. Um, and I just know there's a lot of hurt right there, a lot of pain, a lot of things are gonna be said. Unfortunately, probably some of the things gonna be regretful down the line, which they wasn't said, but we're in it now and we're discussing it and the public is discussing it. So if you don't want it to get to that point where people start pointing and saying things about each other and so on and so forth, keep it, you know, keep it on the low, low. And even if someone comes at you, sometimes you gotta be the bigger person and keep it on the low. And just say, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna quantify what that was just, what was just said, so. Danielle, let me bring you in. Same thing for you. What's your reaction seeing this play out online? Well, some people can hate me, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But there's two things. Hate and clout. Dangerous combination. You can tell this woman, there's hate there. For you to hop up on IG Live and recite these things, and then your daughter goes ahead and then re like reinforces the things that you are saying. I kind of, I'm just looking at this from a 360 perspective because I've seen things like this before. And sometimes in situations like this, it is the mother pulling the string in terms of getting the children involved to emphasize their point and to get persons on their side. I'm trying to figure out why it is needed to be brought to us on IG Live. And I know people would say, oh, it's, 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 Queer persons has encouraged us as Black people to keep things and we need to talk about it. I agree, we do need to talk about some stuff. But Dom, you don't have to bring it to us on the internet. Like this is an internal issue. And if it's, if it's, I read in the article that it's causing the daughter's anxiety when he calls and stuff. If it's doing that much damage, keep it off the internet. Work through your family issues through therapy or sometimes you just have to avoid people completely to not get engaged in altercations like this for your own peace of mind. And the reason why my eyebrow is sort of raised towards Kamara Lee Simmons is because I didn't even know she's married again. You're still carrying the name Simmons for somebody who you claim to be is such a horrendous person and um, um, is broke. I don't know why you're carrying around the name of somebody who you have all these negative things to say about them. And again, you're going to hate me for this, but I'm just outlining the facts. And I'm also saying what y'all, some of y'all are thinking and are, are afraid to say. I also read in the article that the daughters are saying that everything was fine with him up until a certain point, And they feel like he might have early signs of dementia or mental illness. Again, if this is the thought process that you're going through as a family, why bring it to the internet? Sometimes, especially as black men, they go through things. Maybe Russ is broke. Maybe the lawsuits did get to him and it caused him to have a mental episode that he never recovered from. We don't think about these things when it comes to black men. It is evident in your statement that you were saying everything was fine with him up until a point. So why kick him when he's down and, and not try to help him or better yet, keep all this off the internet and just deal with your family issues internally. I don't know if my mic is picking up my snaps, but golly, Danielle, I don't, I, I, I'm just going to leave it there. No, I, I definitely appreciate all the insights. I think all you add um, a lot of value to the conversation. Um, I'll just say this and wrap up. One of the things that struck my nerve as well, so before Russell Simmons actually responded the day after Father's Day, on Father's Day, she told her mother happy Father's Day. That's something too I feel like as a culture has to stop. Father's Day is for fathers, it's not for mothers. We have Mother's Day for mothers and if you wanna you know, celebrate your mom past that, honor her every day, but let's reserve Father's Day for fathers, for these men, for our black men specifically in our community because as Danielle said, we talk about all the time, oh, our black men need to do this. Okay, well, let's create the spaces for them. Let's stop trying to rip things out of them. I have yet to see a single father be told Happy Mother's Day. The day that I see that, you can do whatever you want on Father's Day, but I don't see any single fathers being told Happy Mother's Day. So I really want that culture in addition to everything that you all said as well. So unfortunately, we do have to see how this pans out online because it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon, but we're gonna stop the conversation there.